What's up guys, it's Gabby and it has been a while, right? I'm so sorry that my videos have been lacking recently in the last few months or so. I've just been going through some things in life and it's prevented me from filming. And I've just not had the motivation recently, but I am back and I am super excited because I am going to be doing my second part to my Q&A video and I have a bunch of questions that I'm really looking forward to answering so you can get to know me even better than you did in the last video. So let's get into that. This time around I'm not going to read usernames because a lot of your usernames have probably changed since these questions were asked since it's been such a long time since some of them were asked and also I don't want to butcher them so I'm just going to read the questions off. Someone had asked me what is your favorite thing or slash what are your favorite things about yourself? I like my personality and I think I'm a good person and a very easygoing chill person and I like the person that I am ultimately so without sounding arrogant I like the person that I am. That's my favorite thing about myself as far as inside. I like that I'm quick-witted and that I have a lot of gifts that God has given me. I'm very, very blessed and grateful for those things. Uh, physically, I really like my smile and I like my hair. Yeah, I think that would cover most of it. <laughs> I was also asked, what is your favorite song? This question both excites me and irritates me at the same time because I can't choose just one favorite song. And then I have to think, okay, favorite song, Overall, favorite song in English, favorite song in Korean, favorite song in Japanese. It's much easier for me to like name artists that are my favorite. But if I did have to narrow it down to one song that I love very, very much, it would be My Dear by Ye Sung from Super Junior. I absolutely love the lyrics. I love his voice. It's a very soothing, very beautiful song. Someone else asks, if you were in your cosplay slash transformation makeup as a certain idol and bumped into that idol, what would you do? Like, how would you react? And <laughs> I thought about it and I was like, I'd probably be a little, not, I don't get embarrassed, but I'd be like, oh, well, hi. <laughs> My thoughts are, I hope they could recognize that I'm portraying them. That would be the ultimate compliment and such a cool thing. And I'd also just be kind of like awkward about it as well because I'm running into the same person I'm dressed up as. I'd be like, well, hello, you from you. It wouldn't be that bad, but I'd hope they could recognize me ultimately. That would be really cool and it's such a compliment to my work. That would be amazing. Someone else asks, what inspired you to do your transformations? I kind of touched base with this in my first Q&A video. If you haven't checked that out already, please go take a look at it. I'll put the link in the description as well if you do happen to want to watch that one. Long story short, ever since I was a little kid, I've always loved playing pretend, dressing up, acting, being other people. It's always just been fun for me. So that's like the first part of it. And then as an artist, I think it's very fun to be able to try and manipulate my face to see how close I can get it to look like someone else's. I think that it's such a cool thing to be able to know makeup can do that. So that's the second part of it. And then third, um, I don't know if any of you know you probably should if you don't. And she's pretty popular. Promise Tamang, the human chameleon. I saw her work and I was really inspired by it. I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a cool concept. I love that idea. But yeah, long story short, I loved playing pretend as a kid, love art, and I was inspired by Promise's work in a sense. I thought it was really cool and I wanted to try it too. <laughs> I got asked, do you stand VAV? I wouldn't say I stand them, but I like them. I really like them. Their music's really good. I have a, like a few of their songs. I couldn't name off the members' names or anything like that. I do happen to have a bias but I can't remember his name because like I said, I'm not all up in them like a lot of other groups that I'm into. At some point, it will probably end up that way, but for now, it's me just loving their music and enjoying it in that aspect. Someone had asked me, what is your favorite song and music video right now? And it couldn't have come at a better time because literally I am completely and utterly obsessed with Taemin's new Japanese song, Under My Skin. I think it's incredible. I'm so obsessed with the song. The video is incredibly well put together. He never ceases to amaze me. He is so talented and so hardworking. If you haven't watched it or heard the song, please stream it, please watch it. Under My Skin, Taemin from Shiny. So good. So that will definitely be my answer to this question. I literally just reread a question because I couldn't remember what it was, but I was, I'm just, oh. She had said, why are you so cute? Thank you for thinking so. That's really, really sweet. And can you please come to Miami? Fun fact, I've been to Miami, but it was a really long time ago. 
and before I started doing any of this type of stuff. So I would love to go back. I thought it was beautiful. And if I go, maybe we could meet. That would be so freaking awesome. So I would be totally down to go to Miami. Heck yeah. Let's do it. But seriously though, thank you for calling me cute. That That's so sweet of you to think so. <laughs> Someone asked, what is your biggest regret in life? This is gonna sound cliche, but I don't really have regrets. I try not to live with any. But if I had to choose something that I would regret, not necessarily, I don't even know if it would be considered a definite regret, but at the same time, it does fall under that category. And before I get into this, I wanna clarify that my friend and I have discussed this and she has apologized and things are fine, like, we're good. But at the time, I was kind of sad and a little bit salty, not in a mean way, just kind of like, <sighs> you know what I mean? I wasn't mad, but I was just like, bummed. My biggest regret is Shiny came to Chicago a few years ago, and I was invited to go by my friend. She had said, hey, I'm gonna go see Shiny, you wanna come with me? And I was like, you know, yeah, I'd like to go, but I have to make sure I have the money, because at the time, my job that I had, I did not get a lot of hours, so I wasn't sure I would have the money. I said I would let her know when the time came, or when it was closer to time. And then, while I was at work one day, she had messaged in the group message, hey, got two tickets to Shiny, who wants to go with me? She didn't ask, hey, are you still wanting to go? How is your money situation? She just kind of threw it out in the group message, and at that time, I was at work. My phone was on vibrate. I didn't get the message until after someone in the group chat already said, I'll go, and I lost my ticket. The reason I regret it so much is because that's when Jonghyun was still alive. And I might cry. <laughs> I didn't expect to cry. And knowing I won't ever see him live, ever, really breaks my heart. And that I could have had that opportunity, but I didn't respond to the message fast enough to get that opportunity to see them as Shiny 5. I really, of course, still want to see Shiny now. They're one of my ultimate groups. They're my second group. I love them to death, every single one of them. But um, my biggest regret, so to speak, would be not having gotten that message at the time she sent it and responding, me, I still want to go. Sorry, that kind of got really sad and deep. And But again, I'm not upset with my friend. We've talked about it and discuss things and it's not a big deal anymore. Just wanted to make sure that, that was known, like, I love you if you're watching this, don't, don't feel bad or think anything. I'm just answering a question. I love you, Marina. Marina, my friend from Germany who came to visit me, commented and asked a question. She said, not a question, but she put a heart and a laughy face. I love you too, and I miss you so much. Please come back. I got another question, which I thought was a really good one. I liked it a lot, it was, what inspires you, not just with your transformations, but in your daily life? My answer's pretty simple, but I could go into a lot of detail. But long story short, God. God inspires me to continue to have faith, to push forward, to know things are going to be okay, and to remain the person that I am and just be happy with it. I'm inspired by God every day to wake up being me. Being as happy as I can be, to just be alive and to live and yeah outside of God people who inspire me every day it's some people might think it's dumb but I know a lot of people can also relate to it the K idols that I admire they very much inspire me to continue pushing towards my dreams because they've worked so hard to get to where they're at and knowing that some of them are my age or even older and some younger still like they're able to succeed. It gives me hope knowing that I can also succeed and do what they do and do what I want to do. It just Overall, they inspire me as entertainers. They're just a big motivation for me, I guess. They also make me very happy, so that's another thing. It keeps me positive and upbeat as well. And I will also say family and my church family, not by blood, in my church. They're very good people and they keep me going as well and they make me feel happy to be the person that I am and I think that that's awesome. I'm not sure why this didn't cross my mind at the time but you guys, 
you guys inspire me to continue to do what I love to do as well as other things that I enjoy doing and love doing. So I can't thank you guys enough for your love and support and for your friendship. Just overall, you guys are insanely awesome people and I am so grateful for each and every one of you for being here, for being on my Instagram, wherever you might be. You guys definitely inspire me and continue to. So thank you for that. Love this question, love this question. Someone asked me if you could live in South Korea, what city or place would you choose to live? Busan, without a doubt, Busan. I think that it is so pretty. I just love being by the water in general. It makes me calm, more at ease. I like the vibe it gives off. They have so many attractions and cool places to go, cafes, restaurants. I like the docks and the boats. I just think everything about it is very cool. And I like the atmosphere. And I think I would get along very well there as far as living environment. I just think it's very neat. Outside of Busan, I would definitely want to live in Seoul. It's a basic answer, but it's the truth. It's just very expensive. <laughs> I mean, living in a lot of cities is gonna, it's gonna be expensive no matter where you go, but Seoul is relatively very expensive. I would definitely choose Busan over Seoul, but Seoul would definitely be another ideal place for me, I think. I love the busyness, I love big cities, I love meeting and interacting with new people, I love neon signs, I just, I love the whole vibe of a city like that, so I would probably do well there as well. Well as well. So yeah, to answer your question, either Busan or Seoul, definitely. This question is from the same person. You ask really awesome questions. Like seriously, this made me smile. They asked, which Super Junior member or slash members would you like as your siblings? I think that's a really unique question because I've never really thought about it until I saw the question. I was like, who would I want as my sibling? Obviously, not Yasung. Ultimate bias, would not want to be related to him. Kyu Yun, second, would not want to be related to him. So I really thought about it. I was like, I think I would have to choose either Shindong, Shiwon, or Yawook. Um, or Rawook, however you want to say it. I think Shiwon would be a good brother because he seems to be like the protective, but not in a bad way type. I also like his Christian faith. I think that that's good. I love that about him as well. He just seems like a very kind person. I think he would be a good protective kind brother. Raul or Yaul because he because I think he would make me laugh honestly. I could just imagine us hanging out and going places having a good time. Shindong because he's hilarious. I think Shindong is so funny and he would be one of those brothers I think that would like to joke with you and tease you but loved you a whole bunch and would be fun to go out and into the city and just do whatever, so definitely those three. If I weren't attracted to Dong A, I would choose him because I think his demeanor is very sweet and he's he's quirky and, and weird, a lot like me, and funny, and I think that he would be really fun, loving as a brother, and also protective, but in a gentle kind of way, not in a overbearing, annoying type of way, so maybe Dong as well. I do remember who asked this one. Erin asked this one and I think it's a really good question. She had asked, have you ever wanted to be a makeup artist for the idols that you transform into? I think that that's a really cool question. Honestly, not really. I don't really consider myself a makeup artist, just an artist who uses makeup as the element of choice. I've said that so many times. Sorry, I keep repeating that, but it's the truth. Of course, if I was offered the position, I'm not gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna do Yesong's makeup. No, I'm not gonna touch any of them. Like, I think it would be a really good opportunity and it would be really fun. Especially since, because I transform into them, I know their faces fairly well. I know their makeup style. So, I mean, I think I could probably do it. I just need a little practice because I don't really do makeup on other people often. That's another thing. I usually just do it on me. So, it would be a fun challenge and good opportunity. I would take it, definitely, but... As far as aspirations go, it's not really something that I'm like, yeah, I want to be a makeup artist. Not really. Erin, I love you. <laughs> Someone asks, how old are you? I may have answered this in my last video. I don't actually know for a fact, but I'm 26. I will be 27 in February. So depending on when this gets posted, I might be 27. Someone asks, do I watch K-dramas? Yes. I've watched so many, I can't even keep count. I, if you told me like a name of one, I could tell you, yeah, I watched it, but like I wouldn't be able to list them off because I've watched so many. 
literally back in the day I would watch like I'd be watching three at once not like simultaneously but like I would be watching one drama and then when I was finished with those episodes that were aired I would watch I'd continue with the other one I was watching and you know that kind of thing. I think the last drama I watched was I Am Not a Robot. Amazing. <laughs> so cute. It was so good. I loved it. But yeah, love K-dramas. Okay, I love this question. I was asked, how long does it normally take you to transform into the person you're transforming into and what part frustrates you the most? Oh, this could be an answer. It roughly takes me anywhere between an hour and a half to four hours to do my transformations. It just depends on who it is, how often I've done their makeup and features, and how simple or difficult their features are. So it really just varies. That's the time frame. Like if I were to do Jungkook or V, it would take me about an hour and a half or less because I've done theirs so many times. But if I were to go back in and do, I don't know, Dio. I haven't done Dio since my start and I'd really like to redo his because I think I could blend a little better <laughs> but if I went back in to do Dio it would probably take me roughly three to four hours because I haven't done his makeup in a while and he's also changed a bit since the last time I've done my transformation what frustrates me the most oh where do I start I love doing it so much but there are things I'd say if I had to choose what frustrates me the most about doing my transformations is when my eyeliner gets in my lower lash line because I have really long eyelashes. Even like my under ones are fairly long. And if any eyeliner from like the corners of my eyes from either end gets into my waterline, it'll leak into my eyelashes and then get in my under eye zone. And it'll, it'll make my makeup look mucky and I can't stand it. Although I've gotten so much better about that and it hasn't happened in a while, but that is one thing I can remember just, oh, it frustrates me so much. When that happens, I'm just like, no. <laughs> I, especially if it's, I'm almost done or if I'm just adding finishing touches and then that happens. I'm like, I was done and I liked it. <gasps> but that would be one of the things that frustrates me. Just. Any type of malfunction with the makeup irritates me, especially if I'm at a convention or going to one and I'm at like a set time frame when I need to be somewhere or I need to wake up at a certain time and get finished at a certain time when I'm under like a time limit to get my makeup done. Sometimes it puts a little stress and pressure on me. I try not to let it psych me out, but sometimes I, I get worried that it's not going to turn out right because I have a specific amount of time. I'm like, oh gosh. What if I mess this up and I have to start all over and that kind of thing? So that frustrates me a little that I do that to myself. I, I haven't done that in a while though. Again, so I'm, I'm growing. I'm getting better about these things that frustrate me. Something else would be the wig styling. When I style a wig to where I can only take photos in it, but I couldn't wear it to a convention. I basically just effed up a wig and I can only use it for photo purposes. Like the back is, I cut a chunk out, but you can't see it from the front, but the back is botched. I can't, st I'm just like, no. But again, I've gotten better about it because I'm less quick with certain spots because I know that that's where I could mess it up. So those three things definitely as far as the physical aspect of it. What frustrates me though, in general, about my transformations is people's, some people's lack of open-mindedness and open-heartedness to really understanding what I'm doing and assuming things that aren't true, being bullies and absolutely cruel. Like, I don't understand how people can be so cruel to a human being. Like, it's not funny. I don't understand why people think it's funny to do and say some of the things they say and do. You can totally have an opinion and disagree with something somebody says or does without dehumanizing them and making them feel bad or saying anything at all. You can just live your life and let them live. It's not hard to just do you and let people do them. It's an easy way to live and you'll be a lot happier being less pressed about stuff. Like, geez. <sighs> but yeah, overall, that would be my, my biggest frustration. I wish people would actually try to understand from my perspective and take it for what it actually is rather than what they've heard from someone else who said something nasty or from what they could assume. They can just take it for what it is, which is pure love for these people that I am transforming into and for the love of art. 
it's plain and simple. I love the people I transform into and I love doing it. It's not as deep as some people make it out to be or freak out over, like it's, it's really not. So that would be my biggest frustration, but as far as doing them, those other three things I mentioned, definitely. <laughs> I got asked, they say, recently I've been getting into Big Bang, could you please transform into Sungri or GD, G-Dragon? The answer is heck yes. GD's actually been on my list for quite some time. I've had him in the works. I've been thinking about how I want to do it. So I'm definitely doing G-Dragon. Sungri, I will add to my list because I also really like him. I just hadn't thought about transforming into him. So I'll add him to my list. So heck yeah, I'm stoked you're getting into Big Bang. Yes. I hope that you really continue to support them because they're great. And this was the last question that I got. It wasn't really a question. They even said that, but they said, I think you're an amazing person and I love you. It really almost made me cry reading it. That's such a nice thing to say because I really appreciate compliments on who I am as a person. That really did mean the world. So thank you for thinking I'm an amazing person. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. And I love you too. I love you so, so much. I love you more. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much for your kind words, and I love you very, very much. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the second part of my Q&A video. If you'd like me to do a third part, please let me know. I would. I love doing these, seriously. If you have questions you want to ask me, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can follow my Instagram where I get most of my questions from, if not all of them, which is the same as my username here, Kpop Transformer. I'm a private account, so you'll have to request me, message me, and say, hey, I saw your YouTube video, this is my question, you know, you'd like that. Or just comment below, like I've said. Thank you so much for asking the questions, those of you who did and who have in the past. I really do appreciate it, and I, I love being able to share things about myself with you guys. I think it's an awesome way to interact and make friends and for you just to get to know me better, so. Thank you for that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe while you're here. You definitely should because I would be stoked to have you as a part of my, my family. If you haven't checked out some of my other videos, go do that, especially part one of my q and be awesome. You're, I mean, you're watching part two. You might as well watch the first part, right? <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys. I will see you later and in the next video. Bye. I've been asked a lot of you, you a lot of you, so you can get to know me even better. I'm so happy I decided to film this video now because now, 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 it's way out and I'm starting to come back. <coughs> and that would probably be, I do remember who answered.